everybody. Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, today we're in Socorro, New Mexico, and we're heading for Pecos, Texas. And uh, yeah, it should be a fun trip. I'm uh, kind of in a happy place here. I got uh, the uh, Ruta 389 on here, which is uh, a truck I just really, really love. I think I got more miles on this than any other, of uh, as I've often said. And we got the... Um, Polar tanker from Ruta as well on here with the uh, night move skin on both, and uh, I kind of like this this view right here where the because the tank curves, the stripes coming down at the front of the tank are curving one way, and then the fender curves are going the other way. It's kind of just messes with my mind. It's kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Let's get rolling. Oh, Roland, I should say, Ruda Ing. Yeah, so, love this truck. Let's uh, hop in. Got everything all set up. Windows are down. I know something funny with this uh, profile. The sound is pretty low. I got the sound pretty much cranked right up. The game sound and should be where we want it. And I've got the, uh, whoops, put it in gear. <laughs> Uh, I'll see how it is. Got the windows down so we can see what it's like uh, in that state. Yeah, last time I was in this yard was with the. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna get steamrolled if we don't. Um. I was in here with that, uh, what the hell, the Pratt coil trailer. I haven't pulled that in a while. I've got to dig that thing out. Kind of nice when I went over to pick up the load. It was like, I don't know, just after six in the morning. After 100 yards, turn left. Nice and just not quite ready for the sun to come up. Turn just left. getting a little brighter. It was kind of nice. Oh, what's everybody doing here? Uh oh. Now I stalled it. Thought that guy was going to go. Right? Keep on coming. Take it. Yeah, I'm looking at the seat a bit far back. Uh, it's not terrible. What happens when we look out here? Yeah, I was thinking, uh, I got the view quite right in this truck. I was thinking it would have been fun to take a load of diesel uh, up the uh, mountain at Bellingham again. But I guess they're going to save that for another day. This truck is not exactly what you would take up that mountain. A little too purdy. Right 
the Jake off now? Yeah. There's got to be a switch on the dash. Let's see where is it. See it move there. But you can't tell if it's... I can't really tell if it's off or on. It doesn't have a light on it or anything that lights up. It's right under the right-hand spoke of the steering wheel there. Oh, shoot. Where's the uh, map? Hang on. Oh, world map. Is it too late? No, it's not too late. Whew. I want to go this way. There we go. Much better. Okay. Forgot all about it. Yeah, we get a more scenic route in there. And uh, <laughs> when I first saw this load, I went, oh, no, I don't want to take it because uh, it goes through um, Roswell. It, but it does come into Roswell kind of at the south end, so you don't have those 8,500 stoplights to uh, contend with. But I kind of want to go this way anyway. Let's get the cruise going here. And uh, put the windows up. traffic ahead. It's only 55 right here. Wow. So we're just running the transmission that comes with the truck uh, 336 uh, final drive uh, 18 speed. Oh, I did, uh, so today is June 6th, and D-Day, <laughs> my uh, first daughter was born, daughter day, and that was, uh, both both kids are out, uh, they went out for supper with their friends, but we had kind of a, you know, birthday dinner out with uh, the younger one yesterday, we all went, of course, and then we had a birthday lunch with Megan today, and then both have gone out with their friends to uh, one of those Japanese restaurants where they throw the, you know, do the show, Tapanyaki Grill or whatever they call it. So they're out having fun. After 100 yards, turn right. So I got a chance to get this video in this evening, and this morning I actually took uh, about an hour and a half and did some more work on that uh turn right uh route of w900 black swan skin it's coming along i got the skin like the paint basically done the the, the paint the script and the stickers on five caps all done the only, all that's really left is getting the uh striper on the back of the cab lined up with the cab sides and I noticed there seems to be something funny with uh, on a few of the cabs the uh, arrow extensions or spoilers on the back of the sleeper line up great and some of them don't so it's probably going to be an hour or two of tweaking those things and they'll be good to go excuse me that's going to be a relief, getting that done. I saw somebody... I got to check into it. I thought my old school skin for the uh, SCS 389 still worked fine. Somebody commented in uh, Steam that 
it wasn't working and that's weird because I used it not that awful long ago in a video let's see how far ahead can we go let's get the other traffic stopped if there is any I think we're alright But anyway, uh, I'll have to check that, and then, what was the other one? There's, well, there's quite a few to need fixing still. A whole bunch of Ruta W900 skins, and Ruta Reefer skins, and Penga, all of the Penga skins I've ever done. The Fontaine, or the uh, Hydraulic Beaver Tail. Man. It's a pile of work. Yeah, I really want to do another custom skin real bad. Don't know what one, but go straight. I'll know when I see it. Alamogordo, I guess. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. that our photo that'll work reduce the risk of going off the road take <laughs> take them over driving yeah I kind of like this skin and uh, the, the actual the real truck I kind of try and put the lights on it I can't remember the the side skirt lights if that's the way it is on the real truck but the rest of it's pretty close to the way they do it up This is a pretty neat uh, drive up here. We'll try and drive out here for a little bit until I get in trouble. on that corner. I think there's a road off here somewhere to the right. Is it right here? No. Nope. Oh yeah, maybe it is. I think if that's the one. Let's see if there's a dirt road off to our right down in the Thule's here. Yeah, I think that was it. If you have the no barricades on, you can actually, yeah, drive down that road. Down in there, that dirt road. That's where I went uh, when I took the uh, photos for, let's see, a couple trucks just on the exit of that road where it comes out for the uh, photos in the steam workshop for, I think it was the KSW 352 Lost Arroyo. It might have been the uh, FLX 359 Lost Arroyo. Yeah, 
and I'm using the uh, so this is a profile of the JBX is giving us that big uh, bed sheet of doom in the sky so I put the uh, Dow's high resolution skybox in here but look at it out there eh? it's beautiful thinking of you slim a beautiful country you live in buddy that. That's awesome. I got his caddy stuck there. <laughs> High centered. That's real easy to do with one of those things. Uh, pretty darn low to the ground. Yeah, so I think I got finished saying I was using the Dow's high resolution skybox. Looks pretty good. Can't see if we're gonna run over a car here or not. I guess they've buggered off. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, there they are. Can't get too far away. I was going to do a trip from uh, Moab down to Page, but we've done that recently, maybe in the other direction, but as I thought it was just a little too soon to do that one again. But it was from a, uh, uh, what's BHP when you don't have the advertising, um, gallon oil? Um, uh, probably was going to be the uh, drilling rig out by uh, Moab, <coughs> west of Moab, to uh, the refinery in Page. I would assume that's what it was going to be. jump in and pay attention here. He's 
easier. the bottom of an old oil derrick. That's not a super old one. That draw works there would have been run by diesels probably. Yeah, they got one of the real, real old uh, wooden ones just a couple miles from my house here at uh, Heritage Park. Oh, I thought we were going right here. Maybe that's further down. Here, maybe. Oh, not yet. Go straight. Yeah, they got one of those real old wooden ones with the uh, the chisel that they just wind up and drop a cable, wind it up and drop it, wind it up and drop it, and they just sort of twist the cable so the big heavy chisel just you know it they rotate it around and it just hammers away at the rock it's pretty archaic but I mean very early oil rig and they actually run it they do, they're not drilling anything with it but they get the whole thing going and the old engine running and I can't remember what it's using I don't think it's steam I think it's an old hit and miss crazy thing. We should have just kept going straight. All the traffic that was going by us there is probably going to drive right by in front of us up here. We made one extra turn. turn right. I wasn't paying attention. all over the road. So this is going to be 
fun. We haven't been down this way in a while. We're gonna go down through Carlsbad. And this is, uh, messed around here a whole bunch when, uh, waiting for Texas to come out. I keep coming down here and fly around and try and see what was new. And every time the game updated. And, uh, yeah, often enough there was something new. It seemed when they started getting all the, uh, the, uh, traffic signs down that we were close. So I'll have to take a run up to, uh, North Texas. Go straight. And have a look around and see if they're getting the traffic lights down. Or signs, rather. truck is that over there uh, what is it uh, I can't oh I can't see it well, that's weird couldn't tell you what that was no idea what the heck is that thing is that one of those oh I don't know I should know by that funny sleeper hmm. international of some sort Oh, I don't know. Catch up here and have a look at it. Speeding all these slowing down now. Only so much. International, yeah, that's what it was. LT or something like that, maybe. Stick our head out the door here. LT, yeah. Oh, I wonder if we got any wacky maneuvers coming up here. Oh, it looks like we just head on down into Texas. Oh, we could do a stay left up there. Or right in the left. Don't know. Oh, it's probably an intersection. Okay. Not an overpass. Maybe we should jump out here. We could look around. What's going on up there? Dude. I wonder what that was all about. That's a cool old building. Yeah, I did start that uh, discussion channel on the uh, Discord about pay trucks and what are good ones and whatnot. And the uh, this one did, did get fairly high marks. And I, it's, it's one I really like, especially for the you know the value for the like the cab is so nicely done. Like the corners of everything are so nice and round not all polygonal you know what I mean like everything's really nicely curved beautiful curves on stuff the fender openings are all perfect and 25 bucks and there's an update coming soon he's adding uh, 379 components to it you'll be able to have a 379 grill and 
Probably headlights too. It's going to be really cool because I like a 379. Go straight. So I'm going to be pretty happy about that. So, looking forward to that. Going to be out soon. We'll make sure and snag it. And I've heard comments where somebody asked me to do a build and drive once. I forget what truck it was. Hmm. Well, if that's a popular thing, or if that's something you guys want to see. If it's a mod truck you, I have and you don't, and you want to see it, let me know. that left hand thing I think. We'll get over here. Yeah, left for Pecos. Left. After fifty yards, turn left. Turn left. US two eighty five. Yeah, come down here a bunch and go into fly mode and you know, go to Carlsbad and then I'd fly over here and fly down the highway. I think that's the first place I actually went. Or is it? Well, maybe not. But there's an intersection down here with the stoplights, I think, with the lights all around them flashing or something. Red lights around the perimeter of the stop sign. There's a place right up here that was selling something or other. The mailbox out by the road here. What was it again? This place right here. Pecans. Or pecans. Yeah. I remember when that... Uh, initially, when I first started flying over here before Texas came out that house appeared and then next time he'd come and look there was a mailbox and there came another time and there was a sign for the business it's kind of funny how that worked I think this place on the left here too it was just kind of there in really rough form and then uh, started getting flashed out Yeah, this is coming up on that uh, town. Big gas plant over there that I kept coming and checking it out, hoping one day there'd be a road into it, but it's not a, not a place you can do anything. You listening, Recon? <laughs> maybe, you can, maybe you can make it something. Oh yeah, left here, darn. But here's the stop signs with the flashing light on them. And yeah, yeah, every time I come down here, there'd be a little bit more going on. Got truck stop got all built out and equipment stuff down the road there. Gas station down that way. But that uh, plant, yeah, they built up a great big gas plant there. But there's nothing happening there. 
30 miles to Pecos. I come down here and I hop on this road and drive off this way and I go, oh boy, just how far are we going to go? And I just go up around the corner and stop. I think there's a little building on the left up here. And then after that it was all over. Yeah, it didn't go this far. I'm just going to leave the windows down. It's not that terrible. Gotta be Pecos. Yep. Go straight. Do you see him? Cool. Let's get out and have a look around. Kind of missed that. Oh, not doing the right thing here. Darn it. I wanted to stay in the inside view and look back. I oh look at this old building here. That's cool. Go straight. Going to a BP location. Five miles, six miles, five Keep miles. Right. After fifty yards, turn right. Okay, so it's right on the corner up here. Yet right over there. Cool. Over right here, one of the old Volvos. See that? I can tell the difference now. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. I was driving one of those old ones, 740 or whatever. I thought it was one of the new ones. All happy about it and roaring down the road in the video. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Well, if we can't laugh at ourselves, who can you laugh at? Oh, is this the one we drove by the last time? Yeah, we've been here before. Okay, we got to figure it out. After There's the Green yards, Goblin right there. Right. Oh no, that's the scale. I gotta do this right this time. Oh yeah, there we are, right on that. Uh, Turn right. There, there's the parking spot. reached your destination. Oh, going to be a little crooked, but we'll call it good. Oh, that was a nice drive. I actually, that was totally enjoyable. Uh, let's see, get the lights off. We'll put our, they don't tell you to put your ground straps down and get hooked up to ground here. <laughs> You don't want to do that uh, 
just whip out and start unfueling without getting grounded. Anyway, let's say uh, get the stuff off here. Oh, look at 359 miles. 359. Maybe that's an omen or a sign that I got to drive to 359 next. And that's no hardship. But yeah, I kind of. So this truck with uh, this paint job with these fenders, like it only works on these fenders. It's not. It doesn't work on the uh, standard fender. Yeah, because. Well, it took me a couple, two, three days to make these work. So it was quite a job painting those. Looks simple, but it weren't. If they didn't come off on a bit of an angle there, it wouldn't be so bad, but they're all drawn on the on the template and curves, and they're not straight. Like, they're straight lines across the fender there, but they aren't in, uh, on the template. Bit of a pain. And uh, this is my first attempt at metallic. Like, I just uh, got some metallic paint, a big sample of it, and then I, I took that sample of paint, and I made it bigger and bigger and bigger, like, by copying and flipping, copying and flipping it in all directions until I had a a big honking chunk of metallic. And even then, so I could shrink it down a bit so I'd get the texture wouldn't be too big. But even then, the texture is a little big on it. But, you know, it kind of looks like metallic, and that's kind of what I was after. So if you're ever wondering how I did it, that's what I did. And then I just cut the big chunk of metallic and put it on a layer underneath the outline of the stripes and then just cut away the uh, stuff that goes outside of the stripe. So that, that's how I did that metallic paint, just in case you're curious. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Uh, fun and games. Really itching to do another custom skin, but uh, I might have to wait a little bit. But uh, guys, as always, Appreciate you following along and uh, take care. We'll catch you on the next one and bye for now. Mm -hmm.